Hello ladies and gentlemen, what's poppin? Jacques Slade here, back with another unboxing. And as you can see, it's not your usual sneaker unboxing. This one, it's a little bigger than the usual. And uh, I'm actually a little more excited about this one than the usual because it connects two of my favorite things. Uh, one, sneakers, as obviously is why you're watching this channel here. And then the other is video games. Without further ado, let's hop right into this and see what we have. So if you are a video game fan or a video game nostalgist, I guess I should say, you already recognize the cover. This is Sonic the Hedgehog. Now Puma did a collaboration with Sonic the Hedgehog on one of my favorite new models that they have released, which is the Puma RSO. What it is, is it's a modern version of the Puma running shoes from the, the 80s. It was like 87, 88, 89. They had the RSO 100, the 350, I mean the RS 100, the RS 350, and the RS computer. The computer was the one that actually had a computer on the back of the shoe, but that's a topic for another day. Let's get right into this and take a look. So they sent me, looks like three pairs, which is, uh, thank you, thank you, Sneaker Gods, blessing me that way. A few times it was uh, first previewed on a live stream a little while ago. So I've definitely been a fan. So let's take a look at the collaboration first and it is just, it's so good. It's so good. Okay, let me, hold on. All right, let me put this stuff down so you guys can really see what the shoe looks like. Actually, wait, I'm sorry. There's a couple things in that box. I just saw them. This is what I put it down. Uh, oh. There's a thing, so there's a t-shirt here. I, before I get in the shoes, I'll just show you all this other stuff. There's a, a t-shirt here that says, uh, Super Puma Running Press Start. Obviously the whole video game collab. I love the graphics as a throwback to the 80s, which is where, well the game, Sonic came out in 90, I think, or 92 or something like that. So this is a little throwback to the 80s when they started the game, very nice. There's Sega Genesis Classics, over 50 classic games, double-sided poster, oh, poster inside. And this is for the PS4, please, the same game. This one's for the Xbox One. I don't have a PS4, so um, I guess stick around and I'll end up giving this away to someone. So if you stick around uh, through the end of the video, I'll tell you how you can win this. I imagine I'll probably do that over on my Instagram. All right, so this is the collab and this is just a very, beautiful shoes like I, I as a sneaker guy i've seen a lot of sneaker collabs but this is one of the ones where i i'm just like they got it right like they put the time in and really thought about it and they got it right let me get both the shoes out here so you can get a good a good look at it so i mean the first thing you notice obviously is just the color they matched the sonic's co they matched sonic's color very well but it's the material choice i think that really makes these stand above most of the other collaborations you, you see. Usually you'll see a sneaker and a video game collab and it's just like they're slapping the logos on the shoe or somewhere and maybe they use a little bit of the color. But this one, I feel like they took it up a notch with using this like nappy suede here on the upper because I feel like it, it reflects more of Sonic, like of his feathery or whatever you call his skin or hair or whatever you call it. So this one, it just kind of reflects it more for me. They add the gold touch right there at the, uh, right above the toe box. And then they added the actual gold rings right here on the shoelaces. That alone was just like, I was just like, that's crazy. That's just, it's just super dope. They have the road, they have the forest, like just little small hits of the actual video game. And then on the inside, they have the gold rings as well, and then they have the picture of Sonic, the use of the red. So the red, for those that don't know, Sonic's shoes were inspired by Michael Jackson and Michael Jackson's red shoes. So if you didn't know that, quick fun fact. These are just a quality, quality, pair of shoes. The RSO, I really like it because it's not necessarily a dad shoe. It's more like a running lifestyle shoe that has hints of that dad shoe trend. So I feel like something like this will last beyond that whole dad shoe trend. It kind of breaks that mold. Sonic the Game, I believe came out in 91 or 92. So that would make the game, what, uh, 27 years old or something like that? Let's see what else they have in here. So they have another RSO. So this is just the RSO play. So that's just the collaboration. That one was super limited and I'm sh pretty sure it's gonna be really hard to get. But then they have the RSO, just the regular RSO, which is this one. This is the RSO play as well. And the color is black, high risk red and white. 
they do a great job with the color scheme here. This shoe, I feel it's easy to do the color blocking with this shoe because it is a little bigger. Like you're able to do some like crazy color blocking and here you have the black with the red, the white and the gray, which I think all work well on this silhouette. So this is the RSO play as well. And there's actually one more pair as well. Oh, look, so look here. So you see here at the bottom, they have the outsole. So the RSO play is kind of inspired by video games and the legacy of video games. So I feel like going back to the 80s, which is when the RSO 100 and RSO 350 release, that this blocky outsole kind of mimics that. Let's look at the last pair. Uh, if you want this version, this game, um, the, the PS, the PS4 version of the game, since I don't have a PS4, uh, follow me over on Instagram. My Instagram is Kusto, and I'm actually going to, I'll just give this away. I'll put a picture of this colorway and a picture of the game together, and I'll just post a picture of them, and then, uh, yeah, just leave a comment telling me that you have a PS4 or you have a PlayStation, and uh, I'll pick somebody randomly and give it away. Yeah, that sounds, that works, right? Yeah, all right, so let's look at the final pair in the collection and this is the pair that I really really like it's summertime which is the perfect time to wear white shoes I'm not a big fan of white shoes if you've watched this channel you know that I constantly say that I'm not a big fan of white shoes however I feel like Puma has done a good job of adding enough color to this model that I don't necessarily feel like it's a completely white shoe. I have a couple pairs of completely white shoes and I rarely wear them, but because this one has like pops of color, I feel like it'll fit more with what I wear. Like I can see myself wearing this with a really nice pair of jeans, especially to go with this blue, but let's go over the design here. So this one has again, the leather at the toe, but this leather feels really nice. Um, then they have a little additional leather piece here. And this is like more tone tumbled leather yeah it's tumbled leather here at the toe so they have the toe around the i mean the leather around the toe box but then they add an additional strip of leather almost like a guard over this mesh here and this here it looks like it's a it's a more tumbled leather this one like on the outside is a smooth leather but then on the inside they have more tumbled leather now this part at the toe box is actually mesh and it's a see-through mesh i don't know if you guys can see my fingers in there hopefully you can see my fingers in there so it's a see-through mesh so that gives the shoe a lot of breathability it's already neoprene so it's not like it's just packing in the heat but this is definitely going to increase that airflow and another benefit actually to having this mesh here is that you won't get that crease at the toe for those that have a lot of love for their sneakers and want to keep them looking and as dead stock or as new for as long as possible you know that you often get a crease right here on your shoes just from bending down just from just from really regularly walking around you'll get a little bit of a crease but with this mesh, instead of this being all leather here at the toe or even being neoprene, you're not going to get that crease here. The mesh is a little more resilient and it kind of folds in a little more. So it'll help resist getting that crease that you usually get right there. So that's definitely a benefit for this shoe. Uh, as with the other RSO play that I just showed you, the black colorway, this is neoprene here through, then they have the Puma 4, I believe it's called the Form Stripe, which is what they call their logo. This is all neoprene, which goes into the sock liner. They have leather here at the toe. It says RSO running system. And then they have the RSO running system insoles. And again, these have the place, the extra padding at the heel. They have extra padding at the arch. So if you have arch issues, maybe padding is what will help you. You have that there. And then at the toe, they have like a split section for your big toe and then the rest of your toe. But then they have padding underneath that. It's, it's actually really, really comfortable let me take one of these out instead of talking about it and actually show you you see here they have the padding here on the heel the extra padding here at the arch and then it has a little split here for the rest of your foot now because this is a one piece upper and you actually have to slide your foot in there is no traditional tongue on this shoe you have this little heel tab you see they have the extra heel cup right here and i love how they reinterpreted this plastic heel cup from the puma uh, rs computer which is from the 90 now that shoe had like a piece 
like that big on the back of the shoe. I mean, it, think of, it was the 80s and like the computer parts were just big. Like you wouldn't, there weren't little small things like we do now. It was just a big giant hunk of piece on the back of the shoe. Um, but then to kind of help a, against this heel counter because of this plastic and it's a little hard, they've added some padding here on the liner as well to give you a little bit of extra protection. Color wise, obviously you see the pops of red, the yellow, the blue, and I feel like this white here as well. This white, this isn't actually white here on the neoprene. It's almost like an off white or maybe like an eggshell. So it doesn't make the shoe look completely white, but it I think contributes to the colors of the shoe and then on the outsole they did the same thing that they did on the black pair where they broke up the colors here and i believe that again goes to the video game this is the rso play which is it's inspired by video games it has that video game nostalgia to it now this colorway is actually launching on the 23rd so if you want to get yourself a pair of these puma is going to have these uh, available that day and i really love what puma's doing on the men's side the women's side of puma was crushing it for a very long time and they still are actually and it's good to see puma bring some excitement back on the men's side and lifestyle silhouettes like this one like the rso i think are going to help kind of lead that charge they have their old school stuff like the clyde and the suede but the rso is like an updated something that people of today i say would recognize and something that people of today would rock with the modern aesthetic of their style so really excited about that really excited about the rso i think puma's going to do a lot of fun things with this model looks very very nice really like this anyway so let's take a quick look at everything that was inside the pack so we have this white pair of the rso play we have the black rso play we have the collab the sonic the hedgehog collab on the rso play the t-shirt that kind of pulls everything together here there were the games again if you want the sega version where's the xbox one if you follow me over on instagram it's kusto uh just leave a comment on the picture of these and the shoes i'll put this in with the shoes anyway with that being said guys as always i appreciate you make sure you like favorite and subscribe if you like what you see i am Jacques slade thank you guys for watching and uh shout out to all my video game heads out there i see you with the sneaker and video game connection is huge to me and i love it with that being said as always i appreciate you guys and i'll see you soon peace